Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. I'm about to play Living End in Modern for the fourth time. Uh, there is a modern tournament this evening. It's now 6.54 in the morning and in 13 hours I'm going to play a modern tournament. Got a lot of house cleaning to do before that because we are getting guests and the house is enormous. Anyway. Uh, this is cyber list is very incomplete, uh, so I don't think I'm experienced enough. Uh, you know, I usually say you should play a hundred matches before you play a tournament, but I'm going to play a plenary run event, so I don't risk anything, so I can chance earlier. But I haven't played this deck close enough, so I'm going to play hard for dread, I think, but I might change my mind several times before. The tournament. Anyway, here is the deck. Uh, I don't have the Fulminator Mages. The Fulminator Mages, just one of them, is like more expensive than the entire deck. No, that's not true. But they are the most expensive card in the deck. And I do not have them. Because of that, they're also spiking right now. They cost more than they ever cost. And in February, they will be much uh, cheaper. So I'm gonna buy them in February, after modern PTQ season is over. If you want to know more about how prices vary on Magic Online, check my Magic Online seasonal trading video. It is my biggest effort to do a trading video. I am more of a trader than a player. Uh, I'm more successful as a trader than a player. And I say that when I say that I was once ranked 13 in the world. <laughs> I was still more successful as a trader. Uh, and now I'm definitely better as a trader than as a player. Especially when it comes to modern, because I am new to modern. Or at least pretty noobish. Uh, so here I got some cyclers and avalanche rider. I will keep and see what happens. Uh, I'm basing this of deck list of the dailies. And uh, this guy was 4-0 with this deck. He had two Beast Withins, so I'm running two Beast Within as well. But I'm not sure it is the best number. Death Deathrite Shaman, maybe it's Jand. Uh, so what do we do? We cycle two there, so we will have to pay. Cycle. Deadshot Minotaur. Well, we do the cycling at the end of his turn. Can he remove creatures? Yes, he can. So, well, this problem must be very common. Death Rite Shaman eats your graveyard. What do you do against that? Do I have to beast within Death Rite Shaman? Or is it just not the problem? Okay, it's not Jan then. Who knows what it is? It's Bug. Delver, maybe? So, Mr. Beast within Swamp. No, first. Do I cast it? Got two more cyclers, so 
There's stuff to do. Well, of course, I can't live in right now, so... Are you going to counter the spike feeder? And actually, if it counters beast within, I got nothing. I just need to cycle faster than Deathrite Shaman can do things. But okay, he needs to die. Hmm. There is something else that needs to die. Okay, I will try to kill him. Or will I? God, I should have cast the Avalanche Riders. What am I doing? Uh. Hmm. Okay. Death Rite Shaman should be a huge problem for Living End. Do I have sideboard cards for it? Is my dismembers for Death Rite Shaman? At least I'm ahead on time. But he has emptied my graveyard. So maybe I need to win by casting creatures then. Cryptic command mana now. Uh, well, maybe he didn't. That surprised me quite a bit. So what do I do now? Do I just use the living end threat to scare him and Keep casting stuff. Oh, it's the clique! Okay, no, then I'm not doing that. He has no creatures in his graveyard. So now it's getting to be a good deal anyway. He's taking Avalanche Riders, yeah. But I wasn't going to cast them. Oh, Macabre! Nice. But what do I get out of it? One of this. No, there's nothing. But I can still cycle one guy. Oh, what the hell. That sucked. 
And I need red to cast both of them. Okay, so that can't be paid, and he's dead. And I can cycle Jungle Weaver and Deadshot Minotaur to end of his turn. Actually, get something back. Right, I can actually do it. So, next turn is Living End turn. And I will have two guys, three guys in the graveyard. I is not afraid of the monstrous carbid. Oh, I will even have. Is he missing it? Okay, this is it. Well, he could counter living end, couldn't he? And that's probably what he's doing, saving stuff to counter living end. No creature here. So we cast, or we cycle this. Okay, if this works, I have overloaded the... The Death Ray Charmer. <coughs> And even if it doesn't work, I can still try it every turn now, for two turns. <coughs> and he just concedes when it resolves. But I think that's very common. Okay, what are we up against? Bug Delver? Do we have a plan? If it is a Delver deck, they should like to put stuff in the graveyard, but uh, is it strong enough? Do I want to dismember things? Do I want kitchen things? I'm on the draw, so I don't have a great use for Avalanche Rider, so maybe this? Let's try that, but I might need Avalanche Riders for the uh, land guy. There's a Jungle Weaver, there's a Fire Macabre. Everything looks really good. So Death Rite Shaman is here again to make our life hell.
Uh, Jungle Weaver should probably be Pale Recluse. We are replacing one with the Pale Recluse. Uh, where's the Jungle Weavers? Why is... there? So... Back to the match. Okay, he doesn't have green. And we are cycling a jungle wheeler. I'm not so stupid because now we can't play the kitchen things. Mr. Confident. Do we now cast Violent, out violent Outburst just to kill those two guys? Well, that seems pretty useful actually. None of them are back. Right. Uh, red. Black. Rathew. Oh, I got the Jungle Weaver. I didn't even think about that. <coughs> That's nice. Um. <sighs> God, how early he conceded. And this is the danger with playing a uh, combo deck like this. Because people concede way too early in practice, whereas they will not concede this early uh, in a tournament. And I will actually go as far as to not count this match. I don't know, do you think I should count it? Probably not. Because this was way early, I had one monster. And if his deck uh, is conceding to... <sighs> to people resolving a 5-6 monster, people having a 5-6 monster on turn 4 with haste, or turn 3. Isn't that like Tormogoyf does that some, some of the time? Do you just concede them? Seems very very premature. Uh, thank you for watching. Magic Gathering Strat. I'm still trying to learn Living End and I'm not counting it. this time.